what's up, Montnia from FluidNotes.com and today we're going to take a look at how you can customize your ZBrush UI pimp it out any way you like alright so to do this it's pretty simple actually uh, we just want to dock the preferences menu because this is the one we'll be using and under config the first thing you want to do is enable customize like there are a few th different things you can do like when you're in enable customize mode you can move things around and add things and like if you want to change the color of the UI or something like that you would go under um, oh, um, eye colors and this is where the all the colors of ZBrush are stored so but let's just start off with the config one so um, like you can see here my, my UI is going to be um, uh, up for download so if you want to check it out uh, you, you you can just go ahead and download um, but what I've done is I've removed a lot of the stuff that I don't really use and sort of focused <sighs> focus ZBrush around the things that I use it for um, so over here I'll have like my selection brushes um, I've turning off the alpha and on and, and turning on an alpha and stuff like that but it's very minimal because this is really all, all I need and then a few materials um, so all you need to do is hold down control and alt or command and alt if you're on a Mac and this lets you simply like drag things out move them around um, you can take anything from over here like any menu and simply just add it to your UI it's a uh, yeah, you can make it look pretty sweet like that it's like a weird form of tetris like it's really a <laughs> it's really a weird puzzle sometimes to like make it all fit in there but um you can really do whatever you want and like say you never use any of this right and yeah so just go crazy with it and like i said i'll upload my ui so you can take a look at it um and modify it any way you really want and in terms of colors uh, let's go to the eye colors here um, I didn't really like the orange color that that's default in ZBrush so what you can do to change up the colors here is any color in here um, you simply just go to the color hold it and then drag and you can see it changes color based on anything you touch so like this is the shadow color for for the standard swatches and let's say I want to make that green and then I want to make the rest of it like that yeah that's pretty sweet and this it's gonna be like that and all my buttons or sliders are red actually let's make them pink yeah oh there you go so really sexy ui um to really get you into that 70s mode for sculpting and just as a quick note you need to save this before um because if you just exit uh, zbrush now then it'll just go back to its default uh ui so you want to go to your preferences under config and just say store config file um i'm not going to do that because uh, i don't like this but this is what you'll do you just say store config and what you can do is like say you um you have like a work desktop somewhere and you want to bring your sweet looking ui with you to work uh you just save your ui and just I don't know mail it off to yourself and then you load it back in there um, and this way uh, you always have it with you so it's really nice there is like another uh, let's just there are a couple other things that I want to go through is in the in the UI options um, the button size smaller buttons you can really adjust the size of, of the buttons that you want um, so these are gonna be these are 38 pixels wide like you could make them 60 pixels wide um, if you have like I don't know 50 screens to work from um just spread it across all your screens uh, it's going to be really nice um one other thing that i also have turned off is the wide buttons you can see as soon as i turn this on all of my buttons uh sorry all my buttons get a little wider and i mean i i have this to sort of like minimize my ui so i mean you could do try it out see if it works for you um, but basically there's a lot of stuff in here to, to play around with so I would really just I really just go crazy and make a UI and a sexy color scheme that works for you so I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching mm -hmm.